Yeah, Kyrie, in this situation, sadly proves the saying bullets don't have eyes to be true. As you mentioned there, Baltimore police saying that little girl was not the intended target. She was just at the Mandaman Mall earlier this afternoon, Saturday afternoon with her mom shopping as any child should or could be. And now tonight she's fighting for her life in critical condition at the hospital. A crowded Mandalman Mall on a Saturday afternoon, clearing out quickly after at least one gunshot went off inside around 1.30. As soon as I stood up, boom, uh, one gunshot went off and everybody just started rushing towards uh, the hallway that I was in and uh, toward, like, to get out the door and towards all the other exits down there. Um, people falling over and whatnot. This man who asked to remain anonymous due to safety says he was on the first floor of the mall and rushed towards the sound of gunfire to help anyone that may have been hurt. Unfortunately, what I was able to end up seeing was a seven year old uh, girl laying on her back. And as soon as I had seen that, um, I just instantly ran over to her side. He says he applied pressure to her wounds and stayed until the paramedics arrived. Baltimore police say this tragedy happened after two groups of people had an altercation inside the mall. They say one person pulled out a gun and began to shoot back towards the crowd as he was running away. That bullet hitting a seven-year-old girl in the stomach. It's not good at all. It's just crazy. And the thing is that they're not holding these young kids accountable for what's going on. So it's going to continue on happening. It takes a special kind of coward to indiscriminately shoot into a crowd, including a crowd uh, where there's a young person. Meanwhile, police say they're utilizing the cameras inside of the mall to track down the suspected shooter. Um, but I can tell you we will catch him. Our detectors are working extremely hard to get photos out, so he might as well just give himself up now. Determined to find who is responsible for injuring an innocent child. She was a real trooper. And it's crazy because I don't think I'd be able to do what she did because she did not shed a single tear the whole time. Now, we did reach out to the Mandalman Mall owners for comment or a statement. We have not heard back yet, but Baltimore, please do ask if you have any photos or information about today's shooting to give them a call. You can remain anonymous by calling Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Live tonight from Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Tori Yorgi, WBAL-TV 11 News. Kyrie.